At first glance, you, you get no feeling that Bill can do what he does. I mean, he might be a guy that you see at the end of the bar every day when you first see him, but that's not Bill. Bill and I worked together almost for 40 years. Kind of Mr. Grumpy to a lot of people. They didn't really take the time or understand what Bill was really about and what talent and what background he had in the automobile industry. I would tell you, he's a lifesaver. The off-road community didn't really appreciate and realize what an intelligent, technical, awesome guy Bill Savage was. He was very good at understanding what the ultimate objective was for the series and how to maintain a balance in what competitors could afford, which classes they can afford, whether you had a class nine car, 10 car, one, two, 1600, one, 1600 or two, 1600, and different carburetors and different, all this stuff of how to balance what you were competing against so that it was a race instead of just something that was owned by one particular group or one particular driver. And that's what made it so competitive. You did a phenomenal job of that. When you're trying to herd 500 different competitors and different types of styles of vehicles, amazing. He could have been the Michael Jackson of pop music if he wanted to. He was more than capable of running a business, but he was always looking to do the next thing. After the pro trucks, and he manufactured all these pro trucks, he wasn't halfway through that. He started talking to me about building these tour cars, and he got all excited about that. We made a car that was more reliable than practically anything ever built, and uh, they're still out there. We were halfway through that project, and he started building the world's best, by far fastest snowmobile, called the Redline Snowmobile. That thing so took the industry by surprise that when they showed them up in Montana, Every manufacturer there halfway through the show was on their way back because they knew that they had to put together a completely different vehicle or they were out of the industry. It just took them by shock. He's unappreciated. I mean, nobody wants to be that guy that says, you're disqualified or you don't get to go race today or your car is not legal. And that's a hard position to take. He has the thankless job that everybody should actually walk up and thank him for, for keeping him safe not dying in a wreck and hopefully not burning up in a fire. But Bill Savage has really lended his life and his career to making race cars safer for all of us. His first goal was safety. And I know a lot of people could not get it through their heads why we needed the thickness we did on a roll cage or why we need gussets or why we need this. We're always complaining about, well, it's just costing more money. Well, the more money was saving lives. Sitting, writing through rules, or discussing rules, and a lot of us will come up, hey, we ought to do this, we ought to do that. And when you sit with Bill, he can sit there and pragmatically look and say, well, here's the dark side of that, and why we, we shouldn't go down that path, and be your conscience. And he won't yell at you. He'll just kind of he'll walk you through the process, and that's where Bill's very unique that way. He can sit down with virtually anybody and walk him through that process. Now, it's their choice to listen to him or not. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't want to listen and learn from him. Some classes would have three competitors. Some classes would have 53 competitors. Bill did a really good job of getting the rules written in a simplified form where they could be enforceable, and then he would apply common sense, which is an oxymoron in itself and it really helped the sport grow and prosper. And Bill was right at the forefront, uh, as far as I'm concerned, at the forefront of a lot of technologies that were evolving very rapidly at that time. Steering systems, power steering, wheel travel was increasing like crazy, and Bill was very, very useful to me to get me up to speed on where everything technically was going. And, and he's always been like that. Fantastic guy. Well, Offer doesn't know how much they can thank him for what he's done. For Bill to describe him to somebody who doesn't know him, I would just say, walk in with an open mind because you'll be surprised. Bill, you and I have been friends for a long time and I love you as a brother and you treated me the same way. And I, I want to thank you for making our sport as safe as possible under conditions that were impossible.